to another episode of CNG Railway with me, Carburetor. Today we are back on Railroads Online, and as you guys can see, I have been busy. Busy, busy, busy. While I was sick, uh, I decided to literally go through this thing, and I completely added dual rails the whole way down. I smoothed everything out. Everything is, like, perfectly level. Like, believe it or not, from... The base of the mountain climb up here to the logging camp all the way into the freight depot is 100% level. And I want to try and keep that with the next place I want to go, which is the sawmill. I've already been up to the sawmill. I'm planning on branching out from like right here and then just starting to move up. But anyway, let's head up to the uh, logging camp and try and plan out our route. So I've just walked up a little bit, like literally I left you guys maybe like 15 seconds ago. You can see the rail line right off in the distance and here is the logging camp. Or not the logging camp, the sawmill. I'm. This is going to be a recurring theme where I keep on messing all the names up. But I think I can keep it 100% flat and level all the way in through here. I might need a little bit of a hill right there just to get up here, but I don't think it'll be too hard. But anyway... I kind of have an idea in my head on how I want to do this. The way I'm thinking is to have a loop that goes around and up this way so that it goes back towards the logging camp and then have a loop from over there back this way that goes towards the freight depot. I'm thinking get, uh, get the main kind of layout done over here and then link up to the main line and see how everything kind of lays out. I'm going to kind of play this by ear. I have an idea of what I want to do, but I think it's definitely going to be something where I'm just going to have to kind of throw the build down and see how it lays. Okay, so I have a pretty rough estimate laid out here, but before I get too in-depth with it, I just want to start off by saying this. If you know anybody with, with OCD... There should be, like, a prayer for them. You know how there's, like, a prayer for fallen soldiers and a prayer for uh, people who suffer from PTSD? There should be a prayer for people who suffer from OCD because this has taken me, like, a full 24 hours to build, and it does not show it. Like, literally, the only thing I've done is run this single line, which runs along this kind of ridge up here, goes down this slant right here, and connects up down there, and that's not even done down there. All that's done down here is I just have the uh, layout planned. I still need to go through, and I still need to lay the actual conventional tracks so that it's not just a bunch of switches and uh, and um, blown crossovers. So this is... Honestly, this game is the most grindy I think I've ever played just because of how hard it is to get things to look... Decent like it took me forever to get this hill in the exact right spot originally It was a little bit too far over that way and it just The huge gravel mounds on it just did not look right. It looked so fake It looked like something you'd see in a video game But this is sort of the idea I have going on right now. I Would say probably the next thing I'm gonna do is probably connect that platform up over here so as you can see you can literally take your lumber product right into the freight depot turn around from the freight depot come right back so you don't even need to go through this uh, lump this lumber drop-off point and then same from the lumber yard goes right in here through the uh, um, from the logging camp into the lumber yard goes right through the uh, drop-off and you don't need to go through these switches right here you might still a little bit like I might have shared track but it's not going to be something that's like a feature. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, so from here I need to probably connect around up over here. And then I do also want to leave area 
to run my uh, my line up to the smelter, which is going to go right about that way. I've already kind of uh, sculpted it out a little bit, and it actually looks like it's going to be really cool. But I think before I do that, I think I'm actually going to extend this part around and get it linked up over there so that I have my logging route or my, yeah, my logging route, and then I can focus on the lumber route. Alrighty, and we are back. I have just finished running all the rails, and I have discovered actually a few more problems with this game for some reason, and I don't know why. It's not letting me delete buildings anymore. <clears throat> Sorry about that. My, I had a little frog in my throat right there. It's also not letting me destroy groundwork. So I've laid all the rails. I think it's the rails are pretty much done. They're pretty much perfect. I don't know. I can show you guys. Right now I'm on my way to collect some logs to run, to the, to run from the uh, lumber camp to the sawmill. So... You can kind of see we have our, I believe it would be our supply line right there, and then our return line coming back right there, going around this kind of hill that you can kind of see right there. Um, I'm trying to keep it as flat as possible. So believe it or not, there's the lumber camp is a little bit taller than what we're at right now. So there is a little bit of a hill that I need to come up and a little bit of a hill I need to come down when I go back and forth. Let's slow it down here just a little bit because I don't actually know. I don't think I've actually driven on this track yet. And why is it not letting me pivot around anymore? Don't know why. There, it's letting me do it. I don't know why it wouldn't let me do it. Probably because I hit record. But anyway, let me uh, let me get up. Let me get loaded. I suppose I'll let you guys see how I how I get up here. Watch me fail spectacularly. I probably should have made a save before I started recording. I did, but it's a little bit further back. That's one thing I cannot stress enough with this game: save, save, save. If you stop and do something after uh, after you've done some work, save it. That actually kind of bit me in the bottom when I was working on it. I got it like all done. I got it the way I liked it. And then somebody actually joined my server who I didn't know. So I reset the game to kind of kick him off. And I didn't save the file. Oops. So... It literally took me about a week to get everything the way I like it, and that's part of the reason why is because I would get frustrated and quit, and then, oh crap, I forgot to save my progress. But anyway, uh, let me get all loaded here, and then I can bring you guys down to the sawmill. Wrong button. So I just got done switching these switches right here. Switching these switches kind of sounds like... I don't know, that sounds a little weird. But, um, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and save right now because I'm going on to perfectly new track that I have no idea what's going to happen. And I have had cars, like, just decide that they no longer obey the laws of gravity and just yeet themselves into space. So I still feel kind of weird saying yeet because it's... That's not something I say a whole lot, and that's not something somebody like me should say. But anyway, we got our full load of, uh, of logs here, so let's head up here. I'll let you guys watch this so you can see the uh, lumber mill off in the distance right there, or the sawmill. Betsy shakes a lot. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, she's a narrow, she's a really narrow, uh, 040, I think is the term, tank engine. They kind of don't have the best stability. So this is all brand new track here. I need to go through and redo all this grading. You can see the grading doesn't perfectly line up. And I... It won't let me delete the grade, but you can see where I was trying to place um, 
some, uh, to do, what are those, uh, fuel depots. Anyway, let's kill the regulator here. I do have to say this. When they designed this map, they made it, like, the perfect length. Like, any longer, and it would be, like, ungodly. Any shorter, and it really wouldn't be that realistic. But I don't know if you noticed the uh, slight hill we had there. That entire long segment there, that straight segment, was the hill. You can see I need to kind of redo some of this. I, doing this taper down makes it a lot better than if it weren't there. But let's, um, so let's look. Yeah, I am $1,600 in the hole. Let's see if this actually goes in because I do know that if it doesn't roll in, you don't get paid. Yay, I'm getting paid. Oh, getting pushed off here. I love how you can see logs forming in the uh, in the pond. I think that's really cool. Uh oh, we have a few logs stuck on the platform over there. How'd they get over on the platform? You know what? Actually, no. I think that's part of the de that's part of the decal. That's yeah, that's part of the decal. Never mind. But anyway, let's pull forward and get these other two, and then I will link back up with you guys after I get everything squared away. So after all that was said and done, I made about. Five hundred dollars, which makes sense. Eight times eight times six is should be better at this. Forty six. Yeah, I made four hundred and sixty dollars there. So that's pretty good. But let me show you guys the layout that I have around here. So getting this segment right here, this little delta right here, was the hardest by far. Getting this right, and it's still not perfect, but it'll do. It'll work. So I'm not gonna tear it all up. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's still a little scratchy. But, as you can see, we follow this around. And I'm actually going to flip this switch while I'm over here because this will take us back to the lumber camp. <clears throat> this is where we can pick up beams and lumber. I'm going to finish filling up that... Um, I'm going to finish filling up the logging... The... <clears throat> Excuse me. It's been over a week and I'm still not feeling good. But anyway, this will be our line from the um, from the smelter up to here. And if we trace this down, you can see we have a double um, we have a double crossover right here. This will take you back to the freight depot, which I'm gonna need until I make my run to the smelter. Let me just show you guys what I'm experiencing right now, though. Like, I'm hitting delete and nothing's happening. Which, if I go here and I just try and delete this, I can delete that. So, I don't know why it's not letting me delete groundwork anymore. But it won't let me delete those buildings also. If we follow this, you can see we have another crossover right here. This is our line up from the freight depot. So, that I can sell the uh, beams and the timbers or whatever they're called. We come down here, we have a Y, this goes back up and around over there. Getting this all right was such a pain. This is our little hill right here, and then that actually goes right into the uh, freight depot that connects back up with the freight depot over there. And then I cleverly used a little buffer system over here to stop everything. As you can see, I have it running right into a tree, so... <laughs> Uh, the joys of working by yourself. You get to use whatever you want because nobody can critique you. But anyway, so, and for some reason now I can walk right through a tree. But let's hope that a, um, let's hope that a train would be able to stop on that. Let me walk back up and then we can take the other run down back into the logging camp. And I can show you guys how I made that route. So I did remember to save it, but we uh, we have everything. We have all the switches in order here, so we're going through this. Let's see if this works. You can kind of see the track is a little janky, kind of right there, but I think it'll I think it'll work for right now. I might have to come back through and um, and fix it up when I get some of the larger trains and some of the some of the uh, 
or some of the larger locomotives and some longer trains. Sorry, I had to cut you guys off there, but um, going down the new track right now, let's hope that nothing yeets off, I guess. That still sounds so weird for me to say yeets off. It just, it doesn't work. Got it kicked up a little fast there. I'm trying to conserve water also because it, right now it's kind of a pain in the butt to get water just because of how I have it set up there. I did have to place down a water tower up there and it didn't really... I kind of had to take two shots at it. <laughs> this is just... I love... I love how beautiful this game is. It This game is truly wonderful. It is truly a joy. I found a really awesome path that I would love to go down. Unfortunately, there's no way to get out of it. There's an easy way to get into it, but there's no way to get out of it. Which kind of leads me to this next thing. I really hope they add tunneling in this game. I realize that it would kind of be difficult to do that, but I think if they literally just make it so that you have to pay let's say $100 a blast and the blast only gets you you know, like a few inches in, and it gives you a little ball at the end, so you kind of have to line up the ball at the end and just keep blasting forward and forward and forward, that it would work. This is our hill segment right here, and as you can see, it's not that big. It's very gradual, only 1% grade. I'm going to need to get out and flip the switch. Let's hit the brake get out of being stuck in the water tank for some reason. I do find this kind of ironic. I've double tracked everything so that I wouldn't have to get out and switch everything. Yet because I double tracked everything, there's so many more switches that I have to get out and and flip so it's kind of kind of bit me in the bottom right there but it still looks really cool i love double tracking everything and making ex or extra routes that you can just sit there and just continue going in circles i think that's fantastic let's get some speed going on here because we need to get up this hill this hill is probably the steepest i ever want to build at it's three percent i have a feeling i'm gonna have to build at four percent for going to the uh uh iron mine or to the... I, I think it's the Iron Man. I'm pretty sure it's the Iron Man. Oh, a little fast there. You can see right there how odd it looks to have just a um, to have just a gradient just end like that. So I'm actually gonna show you guys how you can add that little taper to it. Let's. That's not what I wanted to do. Just a little bit. Yeah, you can see these water towers. This one's right, this one's wrong. So gonna need to get gonna need to delete them when I'm allowed to delete them again. Alright. So let's grab variable grade. Go from here. Here, connect, and then make it go all the way down. See how be much better that looks? You still have a little bit of a lip there, but nobody's going to notice that, hopefully. And then when I can delete, I'll come back and delete where this joins right there. I don't know if you can kind of see the orange crosser right there. But where it joins right there, I can delete that. 
But anyway, I'm going to run a few more trains in and get all of it loaded up. And then we can make a run from the sawmill into the freight depot. So I've been making a few loads now. I'm up to $647, but I just wanted to share this. I am a complete moron. If you hit R here, you can see they added a new tab on the demolish, so you can choose rails, groundwork, bridges, facilities, or locomotives. That's fantastic, because actually it was really annoying when you were trying to go through and, and delete rail, and you'd hit the groundwork, and ah, uh, crap! That's wonderful. I think that's a wonderful addition they made. I hadn't noticed it. That, so it hasn't been the game has been broken. It has been I have been not paying attention. So I figured I'd just point that out. But I'm loading up this train now. I think this is my third or fourth train. Um, believe it or not, actually, you go through quite a bit of um, it, it. It processes lumber really, really fast. So... I literally, by the time I get back there, it's all out of the pond. I want to fill that pond up, though, before I start hauling the lumber out of the sawmill. So the pond and everything are now full. I'm going to be returning these to the um, to the little shunting yard I made by the freight depot. I'm going to have to probably grab the uh, cordwood bundles and stock up. First off, the um, little firewood depot I have there. I'm trying to keep it kind of realistic. Uh, you can just sort of throw firewood depots down and have them so that they get, um, <clears throat> so that you can get uh, basically unlimited wood. When you run out of wood, you just delete it and you put another one down. But to me, I mean, that's not very realistic. That's not very, it, it doesn't feel in the spirit of the game. Um, this, this is before I started, but apparently when I was watching KAN's uh, game. They actually made it so that they would stop spawning with wood, and it stranded a lot of people because they couldn't get firewood then, so they then put it back in game. But I don't really want to take advantage of that of that little feature because I feel that's a feature more of convenience of, you know, hey, we don't want you to get stranded without any firewood, like, at all. So we'll give you firewood when you put it down. But I don't really want to abuse that. I kind of want to use it. But this is our new line down. I figured I'd show you guys me going down it. So that way if I yeet off of it. I didn't even save before this. In fact, actually, I should probably save before I regret it. I don't know why I threw it in reverse there. I'm going to have to flip the switches down here at the bottom. Orientated here. That that goes in, and then I want to go that way. No, that was this one was right. So I want to go. I want to go straight there. Drop these off at the freight depot, and then see if I can buy... How much money do I not have right now? I should be able to buy a lumber cart or two, but I want to be able to... I want to make that run of cordwood first. So, I'll make that run of cordwood and then buy my lumber cars. So, I have my new cars all lined up. I made a run to, of cordwood to the uh, fire depot and to the uh, freight depot. So I had enough money actually for five cars, which is impressive when you consider that I started this episode, or at least this last recording segment, seventeen, almost seventeen hundred dollars in the hole. So making money in this game, making the virtual currency, I guess, is not that hard. It's pretty easy. 
Uh, I would like to eventually find a better route for this northern loop. I was trying to future-proof it for going into the oil fields, but it's it's such an arduously long track that it kind of makes it... Ooh, missed my exit there. If I wasn't careful, I was going to derail right there. Almost caught me derailing. I've, de I've derailed a few times, but I'd rather avoid it. So I've gone down the other track a few times, and luckily it has worked. I've been rather lucky with that. This is going to be the first time on this track, so... Our, our fuel is low here, but I should be able to get in into the sawmill with the fuel I have left. If not, I can always just stop and throw some throw some wood in. So yeah, that would be towards the smelter in the future, which is going to be Probably the next episode is going to be an interesting endeavor, I believe. Alright, the switch up here is not going to be thrown, so I'm going to have to stop and get out and... I would also like to uh, investigate putting a... Figuring out how to tie from here into this line right here because I am going to be running cordwood and I'd rather not loop around. So I'm wondering how I'm going to be able to do this. Because I want to go from here to there. But you need to hit this at a, at a 45 degree angle. If I hit right here, I might be be able to I wouldn't be able to get over that hill <laughs> problems for the future that's what that is problems for the future I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do there Nobody else is on. I don't mind if somebody comes on here, but I don't. If I don't know who they are, they could really mess something up really, really quickly. That would take me time to. So. idiot. Alright. That should be that. We might need to back up here because I'm... Three cars of beams, two cars of lump. Yeah, I need to back up. I need to back up a little for now.
I don't know if you guys are noticing this also, but the uh, bed actually flexes my load goods also. I think that's a really cool detail. See how it bowed out there a little bit. All right, let me back up. A lot of people just uh, just throw lumber or the uh, beams down because you don't you only get ten dollars per beam and you can only carry three sets of beams. But I'd rather not. We are all fully loaded. Blow the horn a little bit. And away we go. Anyway, thank you all for joining me on this latest episode of CNG Railway. I believe in next time I'm going to be trying to go to the smelter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any suggestions for the future on how I can improve this series, please let me know. But anyway, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all next time.